Hey, Nord Anglia. I'm here at the garage at MIT. I came because I met Ellie at the British International School of Washington, who's super curious about cars. Okay, so I got into like F1 about like last year, near the end of last year, and I was like, I think it's so fascinating how they like work in the pit stops, how they like change the wheels so quickly, and, like, the strategies and of the cars. It's like complicated, but it's so cool. Well, Ellie, I feel the same way. I think what's fun about F1 is it's not just like seeing about who's in the lead in the race. It's the overall huge engineering effort that goes into making these basically spaceships for the road. My name is Amos Winter. I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering at MIT, but my hobby and where I spend most of my free time is all in cars. I love building cars. I have a vintage race car that I race. I'm in the garage every free moment I have. How do you like plan to get like the engine working? Mm. So it doesn't like, I don't know, explode in the middle of testing or something. There's an enormous amount of engineering effort that goes into this. And it's a combination of using predictive engineering theory. So they figure out, okay, given the speed of the engine, how stressed will the components be? How strong is the material? Is it strong enough not to break? And so there's a lot of what's called modeling, where you actually predict before you make it, how it should behave. Hi, Ellie. I'm Megan. I'm the captain of MIT Motorsports, the Formula SAE team on this campus. Formula Student is an international competition. There's schools from Singapore. The Germans are amazing at it. It's this really cool competition where you design and build a car from scratch, and we do it every year. The car that we build is actually an electric vehicle, so we don't have an engine, but we do have batteries and like an electric motor. When battery cells heat up high enough, right, that's actually where it can become a little bit dangerous. So for us, we're always trying to figure out what's the line of, you know, how much do you need to cool your battery versus, you know, how much weight is that cooling system gonna add? So you test and test and test, and then part of it too is you make backup engines because they do fail. And you've probably seen if you're a fan of F1 that drivers will have to take a grid penalty when they have to change their engine prematurely. As Lewis Hamilton is a fire at the back of that Mercedes car, his engine has blown. I feel and like, like Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen like battling it out at like 300 miles per hour. Do you know when, when it's gonna, when the engine can't take anymore? Do you know if you have to like pipe down a little bit on the speed? Or do you just keep going until it, until you sense something is wrong? I don't think I've ever had more adrenaline pumping through me than when you and a friend are racing through a corner. It's so much fun, just kind of that feeling of me and this machine, seeing how fast we can go, being right at the limit. That wail of the exhaust and you hear the sucking noise and the carburetors. It's just this machine. You hear it, literally hear it breathing like an organism. And I, I get a thrill out of that. Just the sight, sound, smells, all the senses. The more you learn about racing, you're learning kind of how tires interact with the ground and you start to learn to listen for when they're starting to chirp, you know, you're losing traction, let off the throttle a little bit. You can start to hear it really screaming and you start to feel bad for it. I think it's very much a feeling you pick up by just driving. Like how, what is the process? Like, what do you do with the, with the cars? Like what, what is it like a certain lesson that you can take to be able to do it? Yeah, how do you even like begin to make a car? Like, <laughs> Like, where does it start? When we start designing our car, right, we need a lot of simulations. And so that's very computer science and physics based. There's also, let's say you're more artistically inclined, you could go into product design or industrial design. So those are the people working out the, the shape of the car to make it beautiful and the interior and the color scheme and the material choices. And so there's just a, like a very, very like vast range of different things that this team needs in order to succeed. Ellie. You are living through a great era for automotive engineering and design because in your lifetime, cars are going to change drastically as we concurrently tackle climate change while also mobilizing the population. Those two are going to come to together to make like amazing engineering innovations and you are the perfect age to make that happen.